Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail, opening up your girl's video to see what I have to say for today. We're gonna be talking about a beautiful fragrance house that I probably would have never ever sampled, but I've been looking at them on Instagram for a while now, but I, you know, I was just looking at them and I was most attracted to them because of the shape and the design of the bottle, but I just never went over there and clicked on it or, you know, wanted to see what it was about even more until my girl Veronica at Veronica Says, she sampled the fragrance and um, she also sent me a sample of one of the fragrances, which is Cedar and Acacia. Um, well, I decided to go deeper into the house and look to see what else they had. And oh, also she sent me the one I absolutely love as well. Uh, she thought that I was gonna love, love Cedar and Acacia, but in the end I ended up, I like it. But in the end, I ended up loving another one that she sent me. But all of the fragrances that I have today here are just magnificent and they're absolutely amazing. I never would have thought that I would love more woody fragrances. You know, these are unisex fragrances. Um, and I, th I think it's considered a niche fragrance house, if not an indie fragrance house. Um, I did post it on Instagram, so go over there and check that video out. I did a reel on Instagram about the one that I absolutely love, and I also posted a picture today on Instagram as well. So go on over to Instagram and check that out. So anyway, thank you to all of my new subscribers and my new followers on Instagram. If you follow me over there as well, I appreciate you all. You know, I'm ho I hope that I'm giving you good references and recommendations and quality content. You know, I'm not like um, too technical, but you know, I can give you the basics y'all, okay? Which is what it smells like, all right? So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna get into a fragrance house called The Scent of Wood. I always say The Scent of Woods, but it's called The Scent of Wood. This fragrance is uh, you in the USA, and I think they're located in Utah. And uh, I got a message from the owner and the creator of the house when I posted the picture or video of them because I tagged them. Um, he was very nice, you know, um, he said, thank you. You know, I told him how much I love the fragrance that I did post and um, they were they seemed to be very appreciative. So I appreciate, you know, the message that I did get in my inbox on Instagram. So without further ado, we're gonna get into, ooh, y'all, this is like, um, I'm not gonna say this is my best blind buy of 2021, but it's probably in the top 10, y'all. This fragrance is just absolutely amazing. Um, when I smelled it, I was, it was like a love at first sniff. I was completely almost floored, but I was doing a video when I did do the sniff and smell. Um, but I just, I fell in love with it. So um, like I said, it's called the Scent of Woods. I also ordered a full bottle. Um, I also ordered this beautiful, um, like a discovery kit, a sample kit, cause they do have a discovery set and then they have a sample set. Love the presentation on that. And we're gonna go through the full bottle fragrance and then we're gonna go through the, um, the two samples that I do have one of the samples is the same as the full bottle fragrance. Um, I just decided because I love it so much, you know, I'm going to order it. And then that way um, I don't have to make a decan. I can just like throw it in my purse, y'all. This is so good. So um, anyway, uh, the very first fragrance we're going to talk about is Plum and Cognac, y'all. Oh, this is so, so good. So um, this is the presentation. This is like a like a little fake wooden plaque on here. Um, the, the box is actually just cardboard. You know, I, it would have been really, really nice if this would have come housed in like a wooden box with like some velvet inside, y'all. I'm wondering if they have a woman on their team, you know, for packaging, y'all. So, uh, but yeah, like a velvety or a felt inside uh, because when I smell this fragrance, it's, it's more than this box, y'all. It's so luxurious. Like it smells of just, it smells, tastes, all of that, y'all, of just luxury. And I absolutely love it. And this box does it no justice, okay? So anyway, the box is just cardboard and it just comes housed in this box like this. So uh, Fabrice, if you are listening, um, yeah, 
I, I need a, a beautiful box, you know? Uh, this is nice, but your fragrance, um, oh, yeah, it's amazing. So anyway, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now the bottle, y'all, is so luxurious. Like, um, this looks like leather, but it's not leather. It's ceramic, um, ceramic glass. Um, stunning, absolutely stunning bottle. Um, the reason why I was, I love just the little basic detail, you know, this is very fine, but it look, looks expensive, right? It looks very rich. Um, so they have uh, their name on here, Plum and Cognac. You can't really see it, you know. Um, also, the bottle um, resembles, I guess, a tree branch um, woods, you know. But you know what? Why I was attracted to this fragrance is because you guys know that I'm in the medical field, right? Um, everything I see may look like a body part, may look like an internal organ. Uh, it may look like anything that revolves around a medicine and the body. So when I saw this uh, last year, I mean, not last year, um, a couple months ago, I was gonna say at the beginning of the year, but I think it was a couple months ago, uh, because I have been following them, and you know, they're all over Instagram. I, this, and there's another company, their bottles are slightly similar, but the other company, the bottle's red and black, and I was attracted to their, their fragrances as well because of what it looked like. This looks like a heart to me, y'all. This looks like a heart uh, with the branches of the aorta, you know, leading to all of the major arteries and your organs, your vital internal organs, but this completely looks like a heart to me. It's almost shaped like a heart, except for the heart comes down in like a little bit of a point. But for the most part, you know, this looks like a heart. Yeah, a real heart, not a, you know, heart uh, that we draw. <laughs> but this looks like your actual heart that is housed inside of your chest. Um, and like I said, the branches of the aorta and the major arteries look exactly like this. So that's why I kept staring at it, but I wasn't brave enough to, you know, um, get involved. But I thank Veronica for uh, getting me involved. I appreciate it because I absolutely love, love, love the scent. It is stunning. If I ran out of this fragrance, I would definitely purchase it again. Um, so I wish it's a 75 ml bottle and it runs for 240 US dollars. The shipping is free. You can actually uh, sign up for a subscription there. And um, I don't know what the subscription entails. I think you get you know, first dibs on a lot of the other fragrances that are coming out on top of, you know, um, sample kits or kits that they make that they might sell at the regular price if you don't have the subscription. But y'all, let me tell you. So in Plum and Cognac, um, let me tell you about this fragrance house. So first of all, they're very, I wrote down some words because, you know, I might not remember everything when I talk to you all because I'm so excited. So, um, it's very alluring. This fragrance is very provocative. You know, it's smooth, sultry, sexy, succulent, y'all. And it's very woody. It's like a sophisticated woody. It's not a woody. It's a woody, <laughs> a woody scent. So, um, this reminds me uh, there was a commercial where somebody was running through the forest, like a really beautiful girl, like she's running through the forest with a sexy black dress on or a sexy um, ivory dress on that's like falling off of her shoulders. And she's running with this bottle in her hand and she's running away, she's running away from like the big bad wolf, y'all. <laughs> So anyway, this fragrance, but she's running like, oh, you know, like she's super sexy, y'all. So that is what every time I think of um, Scent of Woods and when I smell this fragrance, I get that thought comes into my head. You know, it's very alluring, sexy, sultry, you know, provocative, all of that, y'all. Love it. So in Plum and Cognac, enough of that. Um, you have your cinnamon, you have your plum, you have some woody notes, you have some vanilla, um, and you, of course you have cognac. Now it says that, of course, there's cedar inside, you know, uh, but it also says that there's vetiver in here as well. I don't get vetiver at all. You know, I love vetiver in my fragrances, but I don't get it here. It's probably super smooth and clean, uh, but it's an amazing vetiver. Now the cedar in these fragrances, it smells like you're walking through a forest after it rains, like a cedar a forest with amazing, like a redwood forest. Um, where's that uh, place at? It's somewhere, I think it's in Utah. Wait, wait a minute. It is in Utah. So maybe he, uh, duh. 
<laughs> he probably had that experience of the you know, the big redwood trees, the big cedar trees, those Amazon, you know, prehistoric looking trees. Uh, but that is what popped into my head and that is exactly what this smells like after it has rained and um, the forest and I forgot what the name of the park is in Utah, but it smells like after it has rained and that forest with those big redwood and cedar, those gigantic trees, that is the scent that you get in this fragrance, y'all, on top of all the other additives and notes, you know, the fruities, the fruits and the florals and all that. But y'all, this fragrance right here, you smell like the smooth cognac, the deep, succulent, boozy plum. Like this smells like this. these are plums um, and these are completely over-ripened plums. Um, no sourness to it at all, no bitterness to it at all. Um, it smells like plums that have soaked in cognac or like a plum cognac jelly. Um, it is a sweet, um, sort of a sweet fragrance, not too sweet, but it's more of a woody vanilla and a plum and a boozy note in here, y'all, which is the cognac. This is a stunning fragrance, y'all. Get your nose on it. If you love plum scents, you're gonna love this fragrance. And um, uh, I don't know what else to say about it. I absolutely love it. It's head over heels. Um, to me, I'm not wearing this around the house. When I wear this, you know, like I said, when I smell it, um, it makes me just, oh, my whole attitude changes, y'all. It makes me feel sexy. It makes me feel outgoing. It makes me feel like a boss. You know, this fragrance just makes me feel like uh, provocative. You know, like I just want to go throw on something really pretty and, you know, just like throw my hair back and, you know, say come over, y'all. So um, anyway, this it's indulging you know it's inviting all of that y'all but i absolutely love this fragrance y'all it's delicious okay luxury in a bottle y'all so anyway one of my best blind buy it's not a blind buy i sampled it y'all one of my best buys of 2021 um so anyway plum and cognac stunning bottle fragrance get your nose on it so the next one we have i bought like a sample a discovery the whatever I don't know what they call it. I forgot if it's a sample kit or a discovery kit, but it comes in um, three and this runs you initially. I was just going to buy this. I actually I just purchased this alone and then I was like, you know what? I love that fragrance like I absolutely love it. Why am I wasting my time on this small bottle? You know, <laughs> So 30 minutes later, I kept sniffing my hand and sniffing, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm about to go buy me the big bottle. So I ended up purchasing the bottle. You know, I'm so glad that I did because I probably would have been so dissatisfied with me or annoyed with me only getting like the smaller version of it. But you know, like I said, I love the architecture and the artistry of the bottle, um, you know, and you can actually customize y'all, customize your bottle. Um, Sorry, let me put this down for a moment. So I chose gold, white. I chose ivory on gold. And um, you can choose like a chocolate on gold. You can choose a black on black. Um, they have, you can customize your bottle, I think like three or four different ways. Um, you can choose ivory on black. You can choose black on gold. Like every, you go over there and check them out, okay? But I absolutely love, because I was like, oh, what the, the picture that they showed was a black bottle, all black, you know? And I was like, oh, I really don't like the bottle. I like the white, the ivory, uh, because it's just so, it's just precious, y'all. So, um... When I went onto the site, I actually realized that you can customize your bottle to whatever color you want it to be on top of the um, the gold cap. So yeah, perfection, right? Amazing. I absolutely love that about them. So anyway, the next ones we're gonna talk to, talk to you about what I'm gonna talk to you about. I said where, um, there's only one person here. So, or maybe my alter ego, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so, the next one we're gonna talk about is sandalwood and oak. So, this is sandalwood and oak, you know. Oh, let me show you, let me spray the, um, I didn't even show you the automizer, I'm so excited. So, I already have it. It's my scent of the day, y'all. So delicious, scent of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Beautiful automizers, you know, beautiful, very soft. It covers a wide range. 
You don't get any alcohol in the opening. You get deep, boozy cognac and plum, y'all. Vanilla. So, love it. Oh, and it dries down to an amazing wood. You get the woody notes in the mid. And in the dry down, those deep plum notes in the cognac comes back in with that underlying cedar, like a wet cedar scent, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. So, anyway, we're going to talk about um, sandalwood in oak. Um, this is how it comes. I'm going to go ahead and spray this, you know, um, really cute gold tops for the automizers. Um, let's go ahead and spray this on this hand. You know, I've already tried it. You know, I've worn all three of these a couple of times. Of course, I've worn, worn Plum, Plum and Cognac, you know, um, multiple times, at least four times since I purchased it. So in the opening of sandalwood and oak, well, let me give you the notes first, y'all. So you have some smoked sage in here. You have some smoky guaiac wood, creamy sandalwood, vanilla bean. Uh, you have your burnt sugar, pink pepper, and iris. So in the opening, you do get a beautiful, smooth, and creamy pink pepper. Um, a little bit of iris. It's not too um, irisy or powdery or lipsticky smelling. Um, that's in one of the other ones that we're going to talk about. But a slightly powderiness in the iris, but not too much. It's almost unnoticeable if you don't like iris. But you definitely get the cedar and the wood inside, okay? You get the vanilla. You get some sage in here. Oh. Who would have thought that I would wear sage instead of eating it? So um, there's a beautiful sage in the opening, but then it dries down to this amazing sandalwood. The sage pretty much, it pretty much for me on the skin, it disappears about an hour into wearing the fragrance. And then you get an amazing vanilla sandalwood and you get an oak, y'all. You know, this is not as, um, you can tell the difference in woods and between the, Plum and Cognac and this one. It still smells of cedar, but there's a floor. It seems like there's a little bit of a floral note to me um, in here, uh, but you do get that light, um, that like an oak, like a woody smell, but it's not the cedar wood. Cedar wood is very prominent and it smells, if you smell fresh cedar wood, um, then you know, you know, so. But there is a woody scent, but it's not as strong as the cedar in uh, Plum and Cognac. But yeah, you definitely get that smooth pink pepper. It's very creamy. Um, you get the sandalwood and the vanilla, you know? And like I said, in the opening, you get that really uh, smooth, sultry sage. And I absolutely love it, you know? Let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It says burnt sugar, which makes it slightly sweetened, um, but I'm still getting vanilla, you know? I don't get that like Mason Francis Kirk John uh, burnt sugar smell. But yeah, it's smoky, woody, it's a little herbaceous, you know? You know, on the opening, it's beautiful. So this is sandalwood and oak. So the next one we have, when I initially sprayed it, um, I was like, mm, me. But then oh, the dry down, y'all. I was like, I love it, okay? So um, this is orange and chestnut, okay? Beautiful, cute bottle. These are 10 ml bottles. Yeah, I think they're 10 mls. Um, and like I said, the the three runs, runs. I think it's $95, 95 or $99 for the three, uh, which is a pretty decent deal, you know? Um, so anyway, but I'm still waiting for a discount, hopefully on this house. And then, you know, I can indulge maybe a little bit more, y'all, uh, because those bottles are stunning. I really want a chocolate colored bottle or a black or black on black bottle. Beautiful, y'all. So anyway, in orange and chestnut, you have your orange flower absolute. You have your neroli oil, your bergamot, I'm sorry, you don't bergamot. Your neroli oil. You have your orange, begarid, begard, begarid, begarid, begarid. Maybe I don't know. Um, you have your amber, cedarwood, cashmere, and, and musk. Now um, he said um, on the uh, website he said this reminded him of some of the orange floral trees that you know were in Morocco. I think he's from uh, from Morocco or, or Moroccan. So let's go ahead and spray this here. Beautiful atomizers. So, in the opening, 
I get a lot of like orange balsam smell, you know, a more of a lipsticky smell. And I'm not a lipsticky orange blossom type person. This almost reminds me of, um, De, um, what is it? Not Delina. This almost reminds me of Parfums de Marly. What is it? The orange blossom one from, Par from Parfums de Mar Safanade, okay? It almost reminded me of Safanade in the opening, um, except this was like a little woodier than Safanade, but I got Safanade and I was like, uh, not another, you know, um, orange blossomy, lipsticky, saffronite fragrance, you know? But, y'all, this is beautiful. You get the neroli oil in here. You get some orange blossom. Um, what else? You know, you get some woody notes. You get some cashmere in, you know? This is a really pretty fragrance that the orange blossom is still there, you know, maybe like an hour later. It's really prominent in the beginning. Um, and you get that orange blossom and neroli in the beginning. It almost smells like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. That's the kind of neroli that you get in here. Um, Cause that is, that is exactly what I'm getting. Um, that neroli is pretty prominent in the opening with the orange blossom absolute or the orange flower absolute, which I think is pretty much orange blossom. You know, it's really pretty. And it's, it smells a little, it doesn't smell unique enough in the beginning, um, in the opening for maybe like the first mm, 15 to 30 minutes. But after about, about 30 minutes, the dry down is amazing. This one transitions out of all of them. I got more transition from uh, orange and chestnut than the two that I have here, which I don't mind. You know, you can be, you can say the same or you can transition as long as you're good. It doesn't matter to me, you know? So um, I'm getting some floral notes, like a really pretty floral um, orange flower, you know, on top of the neroli, on top of some woody notes, the cashmere, in, which makes it really smooth and creamy. Y'all, this is beautiful. And in the dry down, the orange, the neroli calms down and then you can smell more of the orange blossom, that irisy, lipsticky, powdery note kind of like disappears and you get more of orange, orange blossom and like the woody notes. Um, so that's why, that's when I started to love this one, the orange and chestnut. Would I buy a full bottle of the orange and chestnut? No, but I'm going to enjoy this one. Even though I did love it in the dry down, I didn't love it in the opening. For me to purchase a fragrance, I want to be able to love it all the way through, y'all. Not just in the dry down. I want to love it in the opening, the mid, and the bottom, you know? So... It's really pretty, you know, it's amazing, y'all. So anyway, um, that is my review on, um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. You know, um, I've worn these fragrances, like I said, this is what I can give you if I come up with something else after wearing them, um, then I will, you know, comment again, you know, on this um, on this video, or, you know, DM me over on Instagram, it's Marcelo, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W, if you have any questions about this house, the scent the scent of woods um and i'm willing to answer them y'all so um i hope you all have an amazing day like i said oh veronica did give me cedar and acacia i really really like cedar and acacia but for me that one was the woodiest out of them all i did love the acacia the berry like smell that was in there um it was like a purple like a deep berry smell uh, like a blackberry almost to me um i did love that but i really really got the cedar the cedar was strongest in that one to me out of all of the ones that i have here today like the plum and cognac, the cedar and acacia was stronger than that. The woody notes. Um, I would love to smell that on a man though, y'all. Um, it's a little too woody for me, but I really, really liked it. But you know, if I were a plum and cognac and then my boo were a cedar and acacia, then um, you know, we we just be a uh, woody, amazing, and you know, just smelling like an amazing woods, y'all. So anyway, thank you all for watching my review. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and go over there and sample. They have like smaller um, I think 2 ml samples that you can order from them as well instead of the 10 ml that are um, a little more reasonable, y'all. Anyway, have an amazing day. Go on to the world. Spend an amazing siage. Do good. Be good. All of that. And I love you all. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, um, I know I forgot to mention this, you know, um, I need to write down a little bullet so I don't forget things because, you know, I get way too excited when smelling these fragrances. Um, the performance on these fragrances, 
beast mode y'all 10 to 12 hours i've worn this multiple times on a shift and at the end of the shift i got like a moderate scent still i don't have to overspray do not overspray these fragrances any of them because the performances the performance um is amazing projection longevity sillage all of it they're stunning so um you don't have to overspray on these fragrances as i usually do y'all so anyway um that is it i just wanted to include that because I did forget to mention it and uh bye-bye